Welcome to the very first edition of Beating Around the Bush with Bobby, where I'll interview a few of the boys and find out what really makes them tick. Today I've got with me Nick Jewell, also known as Tugger, also known as Mr Sheffield Shield. Now Nick, welcome to the program. Pleasure to be here Bob, but it's an honour to be your first guest. Uh, that's very nice of you, thanks for that. Um, now, speaking of those also known as your nicknames, can you, can you run us through them please mate? Uh, where do we start? I guess we've got Mr Sheffield, we've got uh, Julesy, uh, mate as uh, Shippy calls me because he actually doesn't know my name, um, and Tugger. So um, yeah, that sort of covers who, who gave you the nickname Tugger? Because obviously the great man Steve Waugh's nickname's Tugger. Yeah, Tugger actually gave Tugger to me. He, uh, We've gone back a long way. We've obviously played uh, a number of Sheffield Sheffield Shield games together and against each other, I should say. And he, he just loves the way I go about my work. And he said, "Look, I'd love you to take my name." Now, uh, I think you've done the absolute team thing in the last couple of years. You've retired from 2020 cricket. Uh, you've retired from one day cricket. Um, was was that hard to do? Oh, look, I really got. I've got some huge concerns on where the game's going. Um, Everyone seems to be in it for the money these days and I'm really concerned about that. I'm a student of the game, quite obviously. Um, I'm going to be a, a future Bush Ranger coach. I'm just really concerned where it's going. So, um, you know, Shippy's gone down the Delhi Daredevils line and, and taken a lot with him. Um, so, you oh. know, a lot with him, taking a lot with him. Um, you know, and I, I just hate people selling out. Uh, when you sell out, it's, uh, it's not a great thing for the game. Um, so I just like the traditions of the game and, and just do the right thing by the right people. And yeah, I'm happy to give away the 2020. It cost me a lot of money. It cost me, you know, th millions of dollars possibly because I'd, I'd no doubt I'd be, a, I'd be one of the great 2020 players. You played in the first 2020 game yeah. in Australia, didn't you? Yeah. I actually faced the first ever ball bowled in uh, Australian history. How'd you go? Uh, he got it wrong. Got, uh, got caught first ball for, for duck <laughs> hooking. Uh, Shippy said no more hooking. And uh, I thought I'd prove him wrong in the face of 2020. And... Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that little uh, small balding man would know a lot about the game, but he's a he's a fine coach, smarter than he looks, no doubt about him. <laughs> now, uh, is it true you're a bit of a, a closet wrestling snuff? <laughs> yeah, uh, look, it's all to do with my son. He loves the wrestling, so uh, I like to go along to play the games with him and, and be uh, try to even make my appearance, my current day appearance, a little bit like Ric Flair. Yeah, in the showers, you definitely look like Ric Flair, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, uh, what what are your thoughts of getting Shippy a Christmas present this year? Oh look, there's no doubt about that. Um, I'm looking at the uh, Brutus the Barber sort of wig, the mullet at the back, um, or bring back the handlebar mows for ship. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is pulling out the pull shot uh, for Christmas for him. Just wrap one up just before Christmas at Newcastle maybe and just package one up for him and get it away and there you go coach. Well there you go, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. So uh, Nick, thanks for your time, appreciate it. Uh, we'll get in there. Puma, beautiful. Great bat. Uh, look, that's it for the first edition of uh, Beating Around the Bush with Bobby. Thanks for your time and uh, I'll see you next episode.